every single night at the end of the day, and they weren't long days, we would all gather at the same table, sharing Ryan's mezcal. Is, and drink my <laughs> mezcal. <laughs> Just talk with Maya and Rupert about the uniqueness of Wes Anderson. His sets, there's no trailers, you have no phone, and you're in a, like an American city in Spain, recreated with a st station, diner, etc. I wanted to know, as a comedian, how does it feel to be on such a set? What's the specificity of it? It's very different. They're without trailers, you know, we're all staying in the same hotel. We, we're seeing each other at breakfast, we're seeing each other in hair and makeup, in the wardrobe department. It's very community oriented. It's not the same in most other, if not all other movies. You, you kind of separate and go your, go your way and see each other at, at work. And this was work and play combined in one full experience. But it's also very smart, it's very clever because it's very efficient. Mm -hmm. And you're and you're always basically at work. <laughs> yeah, you're always, yeah, you're always. I didn't think of it that way. <laughs> Son of a gun! You never, you never but, get away. <laughs> but we love, but we love, love work, it. and yeah, that, yeah. and that's something. That's right. If if you if you, if you have something that yeah. you can be immersed in like that, it, yeah. it's hard not to love that. There's something very very great about this movie is that it's such a Wes Anderson film, despite going to new places with science fiction, cosmic vibes, Roswell vibes even. So I wanted to know to you, what was the vibe of this film compared to the, his other films? What the difference here? It's a curious script. And uh, I asked him when I read it, I said, do you write this during lockdown, you know? And he said, yeah, there were these elements to it that, that kind of, you know, were fantastical, but also seemed very topical and very relevant. We're doomed. Maybe we are. I've just informed the president. How long can they keep us in Asteroid City, legally? The world will never be the same. Do you have a favorite Wes Anderson movie? I would say Grand Budapest. I, I echo that. Um, yeah. Really, don't know, at varying degrees, it's very, very tough, but I, I, I would say that was probably. Such a I love that. I love Grand Budapest. I mean, Darjeeling Darjeeling. Limited for me is very. It's very different just because of what that experience was for me. Mm -hmm. is, is kind of one of my favorite life experiences mm -hmm. on a film set. So it it's kind of the journey for us paralleled the journey for the characters mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. And and that was the first time I'd worked with Wes, and we were on this kind of magical journey through mm -hmm. India and. Mm -hmm together and living in the same quarters and mm -hmm. no makeup and no, you just put on a suit that was hanging in your room and it had a microphone in it and that was it. And if you missed the train at 5.30 <laughs> in the morning, the set left without you. <laughs> wow. And it was this whole new experience. And so that for me also was really special. Did but you miss the train ever? I never missed the train, never missed the set. Yeah. I never missed the set. That's, a, that's like a line. West End is a movie. Yeah. You, the you can't miss the set if you don't go to sleep. Yeah, I can't miss the set. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>